The tribes of Israel have been given their inheritance. They've gone in to settle in the land. And there is one more thing that needs to be accomplished. Joshua 21 tells us, Then the heads of the fathers of the houses of the Levites came to Eliezer the priest, and to Joshua the son of Nun, and to the heads of the fathers' houses of the tribes of the people of Israel. And they said to them, The Lord commanded through Moses that we be given cities to dwell in, along with their pasture lands for the cattle. So by the command of the Lord, the people of Israel gave to the Levites the following cities. And as you read through these cities, they're scattered throughout the land. See, in, in the nation of Israel, the, the Levites were the people who represented God. They were the, the tribe from which the priests came. And so God scatters them throughout the nation of Israel so that no matter where you lived, you would feel close to God. That no matter where you lived in Israel, even if you were in the farthest tribe away from the tabernacle or later the temple, you would have a city with priests and Levites in it. A place where you could feel connected to God no matter where you were at. Today I want you to remember that no matter where you're at in life, whether you are on a mountaintop feeling really close to God or whether you're in a dark valley feeling like maybe God is nowhere near you, that God is always there by you. That he is always close and, and near. That he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. So if you are in a, in a moment in a valley of discouragement and it seems like God is far off, take comfort. He is closer than you may think.